Hi everyone, today I shall discuss about the articulated skeleton of foot, uh, not in details but in short, which is very much important in examination and you will get good marks out of just knowing the bones. And it is not only important in examination in day to day practice to identify the x-ray picture of the different bones of the articulated skeleton. Now it consists of seven tarsal bones, five metatarsal bone and the phalanges. Now you will see the tarsal bone, the largest tarsal bone you will see that is known as the calcaneum. This forms the heel, you see our heel, you can touch this heel, uh, the directly there is bone and there is the fat beneath it. So this is the calcaneum, this calcaneum, these cons consists of six surfaces, all the tarsal bone has got six surfaces. Out of the six surfaces, the four surfaces are articular, here you will see the superior surface is articular, anterior surface is articular, the sustenticulum telli is also articular. So this is the calcanea. Next, overrides this bone, there is another bone which is known as the talus. So it is, you will see through this talus, the weight of the uh, human body is transmitted to the ground, then forms a joint which is known as the ankle joint. You see, this is the ankle joint. You look this one, this is the lower end of the fibula, this is the lower end of the tibia and together with talus it forms the ankle joint. So this is the talus and this talus has got a head, you will see articulated head, this articulates with a bone in front which is known as the navicular bone or boat shaped bone. And this talus has got body, this body has got superior surface, medial surface, lateral surface, the uh, inferior surface and also the posterior surface. So these are the surfaces of the talus and it forms the talocalcano navicular joint which is very important joint for eversion and inversion. You know the eversion means that is the raising of the lateral border of the foot that is the eversion and raising of the medial border of the foot is known as the inversion. Next you will see, so this is the navicular bone boat shaped and next to the navicular bone you will get three cuneiform bone. That means cuneiform means that is the apex of the bone is pointed. You will see in the lower part it is pointed. So this is the medial cuneiform, this is the intermediate which one is the very smallest and this is the lateral cuneiform. Next you will see that the lateral side there is a uh, bone which is cubical in shape and this is known as the cuboid. You see this is the separate look of the cuboid bone and in the cuboid bone there on the lateral aspect there is a groove. So this finishes the tarsal bone. Now articulating with the tarsal bone, there are metatarsal. From medial to lateral, this metatarsal, the first one is broader. You will see it is the broadest and the thickest than the other metatarsal. You see this is the look of the first metatarsal bone. And this is the look of the other metatarsal bone, this one, it is thin. I can tell you what is the cause of this thinness and you will see you identify the fifth metatarsal by the presence of a styloid process. When you will feel the lateral border of your foot in the middle you will get the uh, styloid process of the 
fifth metatarsal bone. And this is important because sometimes this process may be fractured and uh, you can identify that one through the x-ray. So, this is the differ, this is the metatarsal. You will see the head of the metatarsal is smaller than the base and the superior surface of the metatarsal this is thin and you will notice this metatarsal is an example of the short long bone where only one epiphysis is present. Now the difference between metacarpal and the metatarsal is that metacarpal is present in the hand, metatarsal is present in the foot, but the metacarpal you will identify the head is broader than the metatarsal and on the superior surface you will get a triangular facet whereas there is no triangular facet in the metacarpal bone and the phalanges they are also uh, short long bone and in the phalanx you will get the great toe two phalanx and in the other two there are three phalanges present. So, this is all about the articulated skeleton of the foot. Thank you everyone for watching this video.